Hey there, my fellow curious minds. It's Linda, and I've got a mystery-packed adventure for you today that'll have you questioning history and marveling at human ingenuity. We're diving headfirst into the enigmatic world of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Are they a real ancient wonder or a legendary myth? Buckle up because we're in for a ride through time and space. Number 1 The legendary location let's start with the basics, shall we? The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, also known as the Hanging Gardens of Semiramis, were said to be one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. But here's the twist, despite all the hype, there's no concrete archaeological evidence that they even existed. Crazy, right? The supposed location of these gardens is in the ancient city of Babylon, near present-day Hilla, Babel in Iraq. But, and it's a big but, we haven't found any convincing remnants of these legendary gardens. No lush terraces, no gravity-defying flora. So, what gives? Number 2 the legendary creator the story goes that the gardens were built by King Nebuchadnezzar II for his wife, Amy Tiz of Media. But here's the thing, this story isn't exactly rock solid either. Ancient texts are sometimes, well, a bit like a game of telephone, right? Details can get lost, embellished, or misinterpreted over time. Number 3 Epic engineering feat One of the most mind-boggling aspects of these gardens is their supposed irrigation system. According to legend, they used an intricate system of waterways, pulleys, and screws to carry water from the Euphrates River to the top of the terraces. That's some ancient engineering wizardry. But here's the kicker, we haven't found any evidence of this system either. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. So, did they really have this technology, or was it just the stuff of dreams? Number 4 The remarkable flora picture this. An oasis in the middle of a bustling ancient city. The gardens were said to be adorned with all sorts of exotic plants and trees. But here's the twist, Babylon was in a pretty arid region. So, how on earth did they maintain such a lush green paradise in the desert? Number 5 Nebuchadnezzar's obsession legend has it that King Nebuchadnezzar II was so obsessed with his wife Amy Tiz that he built these incredible gardens just to make her feel at home. Now, that's what I call relationship goals. But remember, folks, legends can often blur the lines between fact and fiction. Number 6 The historical confusion let's not forget, Babylon was a bustling metropolis back in its day. It was home to countless wonders and architectural marvels. Sometimes, the details of one wonder might get mixed up with another. Could the Hanging Gardens of Babylon actually be a fusion of multiple incredible gardens and structures? Number 7 Ancient descriptions We do have some ancient descriptions that make reference to these gardens. The Greek historian Strabo wrote about them as did Philo of Byzantium. But here's the catch, they were writing about something that was long gone even in their time. So, here we are talking about secondhand stories. Number 8 The forgotten wonder isn't it fascinating how something that was considered a wonder of the ancient world has become one of the most elusive mysteries of history? It's like the world's greatest disappearing act. Number 9 
UNESCO's take here's a twist in our tale. UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, excluded the Hanging Gardens of Babylon from its World Heritage List in 2012. This decision was made due to the lack of archaeological evidence supporting their existence. UNESCO wasn't convinced, folks. Fact number 10. The mythical legacy. Even if the Hanging Gardens of Babylon were just a myth, they've left an indelible mark on our culture. They've inspired countless works of art, literature, and even architecture. That's the power of a good story, my friends. So, there you have it, the enigmatic tale of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Were they a real marvel or a myth? The truth is, we may never know for sure. But that's the beauty of history, isn't it? It keeps us guessing, searching, and yearning for answers. Now, here's a little challenge for you. What's your take on this ancient mystery? Do you think the Hanging Gardens of Babylon were a genuine wonder, or do you lean towards the myth theory? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going. And, of course, if you enjoyed this deep dive into history and mysteries, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and ring that notification bell for more enigmatic adventures. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep wondering about the incredible mysteries of our world. This is Linda. Stay curious, my friends.